What's up guys? Welcome back by this new video. Today I'm giving you a map showcase of the mutants mod. And yeah, here are all the mutants that are available in this mod. And yeah, I will be going through all of them. And this time more about the mod itself and the drops you can and i prepared myself a little bit with a blazing scimitar some iron and diamond uh, things some brew dipped apple a bow with uh power five and infinity flint and steel for something a torch an rpg because there's another mod as well and a zombie with chemical X because I will going to showcase how it works. So to get a mutant, you can just wait till it's night time and do your own things. So yeah, you have I think around one percent chance to encounter a mutant variant of the mob itself. However, if you want to go more in a specific way you can just throw chemical x on for example this zombie and then it should turn into a mutant like that and it will absolutely attack you with a very strong uh, yeah i'm able to lead him very fast but uh, that's how that works. Oh, and I cannot go more. But uh, yeah, let's uh, go to the mobs itself. So the first mutants we have are the mutant spider, the mutant cave spider, the mutant witch, the burning bats. I don't know what kind of mob that is. A mutant LA and a creeper. <laughs> So let's do, first of all, I think the arena is a little bit too small, but the mutant spider, 600 health it has, and it does quite some damage. It gives you, ooh, I don't know what it gives you, but it has something with slowness 5 and strength 2. So that's quite interesting to see. I think my bow should be stronger. Ah, uh, torch arrows. Uh, let, let's change that, maybe. Yeah, that's th taking more, much more damage. So let's just use this one. It goes way faster, but very strong one. 600 health, much more than the other mutants. And it drops. When you kill it, it drops an egg, which spawns a lot of spiders. However, the reg yeah, because there is another mod as well, the spider health isn't really correct. So, you don't have to look at that, really. Because look at this, I cannot really do much damage. The bur burning damage does much more. Because normally spiders would have around 16 health, if I'm correct. But yeah, these ones are way stronger. But uh, yeah, they are dropping in that egg. And the ball of webs. And if I use that, I'm uh, thank you that it's raining as usual. You can just throw it. And it just spawns a cobweb and it can do 10 damage. So quite nice, but it doesn't have much durability. As you can see, around uh, 30 to 50, probably. But uh, next mob, we have got... Ah, uh, the arena already broke. Uh, the Mutant Cave Spider. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, it does not, not very special things. Yeah, it sort of works as the regular spider. Oh, let's use my bow. Should be a lot faster. Yeah, suddenly 
Yeah, they are not really very strong weapons that are dealing 40 attack damage because then I will use that. It will absolutely be much easier because I don't know why a different mob just adds a lot of health to every mob. But this one drops the bulk of webs as well. And we have when killed, the cave spiders will drop. And as you can see, here we have that ball of webs that can just be thrown at enemies and kill them. So very fun once again. And next up we have got the mutant witch. Oh my gosh. It has a thousand health. Um, oh my gosh. Um, it's gone. But it drops burning. Oh, that's the burning bath again. Um, oh, it, take, it takes points from that. However, I don't know why that burning damage is such a strong thing in this game. Really. Uh, so, yeah, let, let's use some fire arrows. That should be much stronger, but yeah, here as you can see, are those burning beds, and yeah, when they connect to you, they give you the burn effect. But yeah, burning is very strong in this game, actually. So definitely be careful. But uh, it drops a witch nose. Can I? Can I wear that? I don't know. Can I eat it? I I absolutely don't know for what it will be used for but then the burning beds we already saw this one it gives you a, it sets you on fire and because fire is just dealing a lot of damage it uh, will kill you suddenly but next up uh, we have got the mutant LA very nice one can you give it just an bite oh oops I don't know, I, I actually don't know how it works, but... Ow. It, it does actually quite some weird things. If I attack it, will it attack me? Oh, it attacks me. But it's... Okay, um... Yeah, let's do use slash kill E. So everything will be dead. And it drops, unfortunately, nothing, but that doesn't matter. Uh, then we have got a creeper minion that spawns, spawns from the mutant creeper. Very simple. So let's hop into the next mobs. Next up, we have got the mutant enderman, the mutant skeleton, snow golem, the mutant zombie, the spider pig, and the mutant zombie fight piglin. So yeah, let, let's use the mutant snow golem first. Those are actually friendly enemies. So they will help you with feeding the mobs. Very simple. And suddenly in this mod they have 400 health. Normally they would have around 50 health. So very nice one. But then we have got the Enderman, the mutant Enderman. Oh, it's rush, surely it's raining. It has a thousand health. And yeah, it's very strong. As you can see. However, I can do quite some damage. Maybe maybe I have to wait. I have to enchant my uh, sword to fire aspect, maybe. Fire aspect 2. Because burning does a lot of damage, supposedly. Or as you can see, no way. But yeah, it, it does weird things with you, it gives you even nausea. Very overpowered. And when it dies, it will suck you in. And yeah, will deal some damage to you. So definitely be careful with that. But it drops some. I have Enders and Ender Pearls and can actually drop something else, a special weapon where you can just take a block and just throw it. Maybe I can show it to you guys at the moment. Um, yeah. Okay, so supposedly this mod doesn't have 
got that weapon, but normally to drop the weapon as well, or at least a chance it has. But next up, we have got the Mutant Skeleton. has a very nice crossbow and is very, very strong. So definitely be careful with this bomb when you're out there. But yeah, it's not the strongest one, it's just very annoying if you will come across one. Because, yeah, it will always shoot you. And, yeah, when you kill the mutant skeleton, it will drop all their, yeah, bones and things that you can actually just pick up. And here I have a helmet, for example. So that's very fun. But, yeah, you can collect all these items. And after that you can make the armor, the mutant skeleton armor. So let's wear that, why not? And it gives you Jumbo 2 and Speed 2 forever. And the durability, unfortunately, it doesn't really show. But uh, yeah, I think it's around diamond level, so very nice. And yeah, next month, Mutant uh, Zombie that we saw at the beginning of the video. So yeah, very strong, as you can see, it will just earthquake you, it can even slam you up into the air and then hit. Oh no, I'm burning. But when you kill it, it normally will not be on fire, so it will just respawn itself. You'll just recover from his death. With normally 20 health. Oops, I hit. Oh, that was a strong arrow. But you can use a flint, flint and steel to ignite him immediately, and he will die and will not recover three times. And he will drop the Hulk hammer. Very nice weapon. 10 damage it does, and what it does, you can actually do a sort of little earthquake. And yeah, I don't know why I cannot. I just cannot hit slimes in this game. But uh, yeah, you can actually do this and hit me up sometimes multiple targets. So very fun. But next up, we have got the spider pig. It's just a combination of a spider and a pig. It's not the strongest one, but it was. It can spawn cobwebs on you, what could be quite annoying, and will actually do. Yeah, dash forward near you, and if you kill it, it will tr just drop some cooked pork chop or strings, just spider or big items. Uh, at least next up, we have got the mutant zombie fight pig man. Oh my gosh, I love this one. Uh, this is actually more of a fan made one, I would actually uh, say, but uh, they are still very fun to see, so yeah, why not? Guys, this one is actually very strong and white. Oh, my snow golem is not here. I need those. Yeah, but the problem is my bow doesn't inflict uh, that damage. So, yeah, we will ju just do it simple. Do this and then slash kill. Oops, wrong one. He, he will die. Hopefully, he will drop. His, no, he won't drop his item, but he, he has a chance to drop his hammer, so that's very fun. Yeah. <laughs> but, so, but anyway, let's hop into the next mobs, mutants. Next up, we have got the mutant Iron Golem, mutant Drowned, mutant Ravager, <laughs> from the mutant Warden. A uh, mutant zombie villager and a mutant zuckalit. Very interesting on mobs. So first of all, the, the mutant iron golem. This one is peaceful until you probably hit this one. Yes, and then it does massive damage against you, as you can see. Oh, that, that's just very annoying. But he's friendly, very overpowered. Has a hundred armor bars. Very interesting. But yeah, it will absolutely help you. But then the mutant drowns. This one is more fan made as well. It doesn't catch on fire, however, it strikes probably you with the lightning, so very interesting. 
and it can deal massive damage. And I don't know why we have some pirate rounds. Probably from different mods, but it doesn't matter. The Cyber Ghosts are actually dealing quite some damage. How am I blown up by a slime? No way. How much? Wow! I think he shoots with some kind of trident actually. But it's very annoying that they are having a lot of help. I can, just cannot do that. Maybe, maybe I need better arrows. Like uh, instant damage arming in those arrows. I'm just dying once again. Yeah, I will do that and be right back. So, yeah, this is actually a bot fight right now. But, yeah, when it gets killed completely, a day will be fun. How much? Why are they not killing? Oh, God. He deflects, he is deflecting the arrows. He recovers as well. How much health do you have? Not much. However, oh, I'm dying. Actually, ah, oh, very annoying. But, uh, and my armor broke, I think. Oh no, I, I don't have e uh, even armor. Yeah, it doesn't matter, but if you kill him, please. The lightning is very. Oh my god. I, I, cannot, I cannot kill him. Okay, definitely be careful for a moving trap, but normally it will not have that much health. And I don't know why that is, but yeah, it can drop some tridents and those things. Very simple. But next up we have got the Mutant Ravager. No, no. It looks very fun, has a ton of health. And maybe if I can slash kill him. He will drop his item. Oh, let, let's maybe let's do it uh, somewhere here. Oh, oops, wrong one. But I don't think if you use slash kill E, you will be able to kill. But maybe I will give myself a lot of strength. Let Let's test that out. Okay, so I give myself a lot of strength. <laughs> And let's test out if... Oh my gosh. If I even can... Do some damage. No, no, I, I cannot. But uh, he drops probably some kind of saddle. What I saw. So yeah, that's very interesting. Oh, I, I lost my... Strength. Oh, let, let's, let's do that with resistance as well. Maybe that will be helpful. Resistance. Yeah, this will probably be on video, but... Uh, yeah, next up, Mutant Warden. No, no. Okay, very strong mob. I actually cannot do anything, but... Uh, yeah, more of the just the designs. Let, let's... Let's see those, maybe mob eggs, I will do a different kind of video, but uh, yeah, very fun mob. I don't know why my resistance and strength are not working, but okay. Next up, the mutant zombie villager. Very weird mob, however I can kill it and it dropped no nothing. <laughs> okay, then the mutant suckling, oh my gosh. I'm even taking damage. Oh my god. Definitely a very overpowered mutant. With its fan mate as well. So not, it's not really the real version of the mutant, because normally you would only have the mutant zombie and those things. And yeah, this is just extra 
<laughs> mutants, like the mutant iron golem. It's yeah, the texture is just a, a little bit goofy. Those things. But this one I want just to showcase you what you're getting if you kill it someday, please. Oh no way. Okay, so if you kill it, it, it gives you some experience. Ah, oh, it gives it nothing. Okay, next mobs. Oh, I hate that. I absolutely hate it when it won't just give you experience. But anyway, next mobs, the mutant wither, the mutant strider, the giga illager, the mutant ender dragon, the mutant stray, and the mutant netherite golem. Very interesting. So before it will crash my game at something, let, let, let's do the mutant wither first. Oh wait, I see what it is. This is just the wither store. Nope. Nope, it can give you probably some overpowered things, but nope. No, we are not doing that. Wait, if I saw something... Something... Just spawned, I think. Oh, it's oh, this one drops something at least a beacon. Oh, so we can just do it a little bit faster. Then a mutant strider is even evil. I don't know, but does it drop something? No, it does not drop anything. Then the giga illager. Oh my god. Yeah, I won't kill him. That will just take too long. But when you kill it, it will go in a second version. Oh my god, no way. And then you have to kill it once again. Wow. Oh, and it even does an explosion. Wow, interesting. Then the... Oh no, this will break a lot of blocks probably. Mutant Ender Dragon. Yeah, this is absolutely fan-made, but it absolutely looks amazing. Oh, what's that? Oh my god! Can I kill you? I, I cannot kill you, how? Oh. I don't know what that was, but very interesting. Um, at least uh, next mob, it's the mutant stray. So more like a stronger version of the skeleton with a nicer animation. And when you kill it, it's normally should drop something. Yeah, and bone block, it drops, as you could see, but I don't know. Oh, here it is. Just a simple bone block, nothing special. Then a mutant netherite golem. I just think I feel friendly until you hit it. But if you kill this one, it drops a block of netherite, no way. Oh wow, that's actually quite overpowered. Very interesting, absolutely. Next mobs. Then we have got a mutant sniffer. Oh my gosh, no way. Um, a mutant ghost. Alpha Mutant Iron Golem, Mutant, oh no, not an Evoker, a Spider and a Wolf. So first of all, the Ghast, oh my gosh, this will absolutely break everything. Look at that thing, just absolutely like a horror design of the Orgast, actually. But uh, this one looks like it doesn't drop anything, but then the Alpha Mutant Iron Golem. Okay, very interesting. When you kill it, it will spawn just a regular mutant iron golem. So you can probably chemical exit twice, I think. But then a mutant evoker. Oh my god. It's not the strongest one, actually. I have to admit, it's not the strongest one. Where are the e evokers? Oh, he's just dropping a totem of undying and a golden chest plate. Okay, very interesting. Next up, a mutant spider. Oh, this is from a different mod, okay. I don't know where he went, but okay. 
That was the mutant spider, then the mutant wolf. A very interesting one. To attack you. But it's not the strongest one, because I'm not, yeah, almost not wearing armor, so as you can see, I'm, yeah, not really dying, even with a gold chest plate, but it drops the mutant wolf boots, or just mutant wolf armor, where we go right now, because you can just get an entire mutant set, just depends on your luck a little bit. But uh, when I get this entire set of armor, I will actually look like a wolf. Let, let's. Oh my, no, no, this this looks absolutely bad. Okay, but yeah, it gives nothing special. A lot of armor probably in those things. Oh, but here is the mutant sniffer. Oh, I forgot that one. Okay, I cannot kill it, but. Uh, yeah, that's how it looks. Oh, and it, when you kill it, it drops a block of emeralds. I don't know why, but okay. And yeah, let's hop right now to the last mobs of this video. So, the last mobs are the mutant wither skeleton, the blaze, the rotling, I don't know what it is. Mutant sugar and mutant creeper, and let's take my RPG with it. So first of all, the mutant... Uh, no, let, let's start with the mutant place. It looks like that boss that someday came uh, always in Minecraft, but as you can see, it's quite immune. However, it cannot go in the rain because he will die quite fast, as you can see. He's just dying. And when he dies, I don't know what happens. Actually... He just absolutely bursts out and he drops something. He drops a disc fragment and something else. A mutant blaze core and some. Oh, mutant blaze rods or blaze powder. Very interesting. Okay, so like the mutant skeleton, it just drops his body, I guess. Okay, but next up we have got the Rotling. It's just a mini blaze that can spawn from the mutant one. It's quite strong actually. And I will die, yep. But next up we have got a mutant Shooker. This one will definitely be very bad. Oh my gosh, why can it walk? Let me shoot! Oh, I lost my bullet. Why do I always lose everything so fast? Oh my, it, it, it gives you limitation. So yeah, let's kill him. Um, yeah, I, I'm most of the time forgetting when. Okay, here it's, okay, but it gives, I don't know what it gives. Cool drop with sugar box or something else, but yeah, it depends on something, but uh, yeah, next up we have got the mutant wither skeleton. So it looks very strange. I absolutely love this design. I'm one, always one of my favorites. Yeah, I am at least using eating arrows. It gives you wither, so that will definitely do a lot of damage. But yeah, let, when you kill it. It normally should just spread out their, uh, yeah, their body, like the mutant skeleton, and you can pick it up and just wear it. And you can actually get this sword, the blazing uh, sky mitar, probably from the mutant blaze core and wither bombs. This one probably from the wither, but if you use this one, oh no, it's yeah, it gives you wither effect probably when you're there. So let's test it out a little bit. Yes, as you can see, every one gets wither. And yeah, let's wear this mutant skeleton armor. Absolutely gorgeous. Looks amazing. Love that. If I take out the helmet, it's way better. But yeah, it looks great. Absolutely great armor. And let's hop into the last 
mutants, most of the favorites from yeah, people that are playing with mutants. The mutant creeper, or just the most annoying. Does absolutely explosion damage with those minions as well. But yeah, you just don't want to see this thing alive around you, your area. However, you can actually, it's not the strongest one. If it spawns minions, it's way stronger. And if you just charge it, it's way stronger. But it will suck, try to suck you in and then create a big, massive explosion. Normally it will wound do with fire, I expect, but it drops the creeper minion egg where you can get your own mini creeper from. I, I hate the slime, so, so let's peace for it for a moment. Oh, and when the egg just dies or you break it, it drops the creeper shard that I already showcased in a different kind of video. When you use this, it creates a massive explosion. But you have to recharge it somehow. I don't know even. But uh, yeah, this one gives you one time in massive explosion. But uh, yeah, very fun. And if you use the charge one version, you can get a m probably a charge creeper explosion. But uh, yeah, anyway guys, this was the mods, the mutant mods, with a lot of extra mutants that normally wouldn't be, but yeah, definitely comment down below w which mob you like the most. I like the Wither Skeleton most, or the Creeper, just my favorites, but definitely comment down below which one you like the most. And definitely don't forget to like and subscribe to see more of these kind of videos. Hopefully you have a great day guys. And I'll see you in the next video. And it's once again Sonic Rain. But anyway, peace out guys.